YouTube land, what's up? It's your girl Makara from Cooper's Closet. How y'all feeling today? So listen, y'all, today we are coming up on a steep hill because we are going to be addressing the elephant in the room. Damn. Okay, and so my post today is about how I feel about post and social media post, right? And let me say this, y'all. I did used to feel some type of way about post and especially subliminal post. So, and, and right now I even feel some type of way even discussing it. Subliminal post in post, sometimes they make me feel disgusting. And I will say this, and everybody can do whatever they want to do with their post. It's their freedom of speech. It's their chance to get their 15 seconds. Like now I'm on here trying to get me 15 seconds. But what people don't fail to realize, or fail to realize, I'm sorry, is that posts say a lot about you. Posts say a lot about you. What you post is uh, basically your inside rhythms and blues and thoughts coming out about how you feel about yourself, uh, 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 how you feel about the world, how you feel about certain situations, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what makes you feel this way, what makes you post something in the spiritual realm. I can tell you a spiritual person. Uh, what makes you talk hard? I can tell you a mean person. You know, that, that just uh, reflects who you are. That's what uh, posts do. And so when I'm on there, I try to post nice things because I feel nice. Or I try to post, you know, spiritual things because I'm in spiritual solitude, you know. But then you get people that post uh, sometimes offensive things or uh, attacking things. And they make you feel some type of way, but you have to remember that they are the ruler of their ship and they roll their boat the way they choose to roll their boat. So that makes you keep coasting, right? So subliminal messages, I, I feel like that's kitty cat stuff. You know, uh, I prefer if a person has a problem with me to get in touch with me. Maybe we could work this out before you just take a stab. But see, people are going to take a stab if they're hurting. And if they feel evil, they do destructive evil things. So you feel the ice pit come through. Now, there is a flip side about this. Sometimes people might be making a post and they ain't talking about you. They talking about somebody else, but it's hitting so close to home. You feel like it's talking about you. And I will say this. I have had people make posts that I knew was specifically for me. Because I've been with you somewhere or we were just in counter or whatever. So I knew the post was for me. And, and, and most of the time, if I hit a sub, uh, subliminal post, it's because, it, and take an ice pick stab, it's because somebody personally stabbed me, and I really know where that's coming from. But it's, it's a spiritual warfare game. And see, I don't like to play games. So I just read it, and I think sometimes when I'm scrolling, that's for me. That could not be for me. But then, too, if someone sends an attacking post, I'm like, well, you can't get mad at the attacker. The attacker is doing what he's doing. He's doing his job. He's attacking. That's what he's supposed to do. 
it, it's your job to keep being a roller and roll over it, to keep being a floater and float over it. Because in my situation, I don't know about anybody else's, but last time I checked, Amron still needed their money on the lights. And they said that I used so much of their heat and so much of their air that they need to be compensated for that. My job still says, McCarl, we need you here at such and such a time, even though I've seen these posts. And I don't feel like anybody's taking a shot at me lately, but I have seen shots about me, I think. But the deal is, I got bigger fish to fry. And I know others have bigger fish to fry. You know, so it's just one of those things where you can't get upset about it. Or even if you do fall off your horse, you got to get back on. And then, you know, you could take that mean advice uh, that they gave you and make something beautiful out of it. So that's uh, how I feel about post and subliminal post. Like, I'll never approach a person even if I do have a problem with them. That's just not my style. The only reason why I have a problem with you is because you have an underlying problem with me. So I don't worry about those type of things. But then, then again, there's people that do worry about this type of stuff. Some stuff ain't easy to get over once you hear. Some stuff uh, strikes cl close to home and it's not even for you. But you felt it so hard. That it hit. It shook your foundation. And I've had that. And I just deleted people. Or sometimes I look up and people are nice and delete themselves. And that works because I don't have to do any spring clean. Or whatever winter, you know, whatever season's approaching. That helps me a lot too. You know, and, and then sometimes people uh, don't like you or whatever for some reason. And they get rid of you and then they change their mind. Listen, there's no hard feelings about none of this. I, I'm just in the middle of creating a masterpiece, and I just don't have time for certain stuff. You know, with people supposed to be adults and carry themselves in such a manner, you know. There's people that post a lot of violent stuff. Maybe they feeling violent. Maybe that's just a way for them to explain how they feel about a situation they're going through. But see... Anything you do leaves a trail. It's not hard. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying everybody can figure you out. But if I'm on there, I can figure out where these posts are coming from. But 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 then that takes too, away too much of my energy. I don't even care. You know, everybody has their moment to do what they're going to do uh, with their page. And they can say what they want to say. It's freedom of speech. Last time I checked. So ain't nobody wrong about uh, what they say or what they post or how they choose to carry themselves. That state business, it doesn't have anything to do with me. You know, that's, that's kind of how I feel about that. And, and that's how I maneuver. And like I said, you know, sometimes things can be hurtful, especially if it was for you or if it wasn't and it kind of hit home or shook your foundation or something. You know, but when they, I, I tolerate it, you know, but when they get too wild and unruly, I will move somebody. All of my energy filled with that shit, you know. So, I just want to get on here and throw a raft out there for people to catch it about, if you're going to be on this uh, social media, you have to respect the game. Because a lot of that comes with that territory, good and bad. You get to find old classmates. You get to find lovers. You get to find family and friends. But then on the other uh, spectrum of that, you know, people attack you. You're cyberbully. Uh, you end up getting argue, into arguments on there, fights and killings, and all kinds of stuff could go on with that. But if you are on the playground... You have to expect and, and, and be able to combat these things if you're going to stay there. It's really up to you if you make it good or bad. You know, uh, how you deal with certain people. People just show you who they are. That doesn't have anything to do with who you are. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to wrap it up right there. But I just want to address the elephant in the room because so many people want to. And, and I, I've been on there right where I've seen 
a subliminal uh, post come and it wasn't for me. But the other person who thought it was for them, it affected them some type of way and they spoke up about it. You know, you know, if you're talking about me or I hate subliminal posts, or if you got something to say or whatever, whatever, maybe they know what's going on behind closed doors. I'm just a viewer shout, you know, running through here, just rolling. And I'm just thinking to myself, you know, sometimes shit do make you mad where you do have to approach folks and let folks know you up on the scene. You know, you, I'm on here, I ain't dead, I'm just cruising through here, I ain't dead on Facebook now, I'm, I'm up. Every blue moon, you do have to go on there and let folks know you on there. But at the same time, it's, it's really not worth dealing with because they ain't worth dealing with because they let you know where they're coming from. So I'm siding with the person that, you know, said whoever got something to say or whatever, you should come to me because I'm with them. The shit's childish. Like, carry yourself the way you're supposed to carry yourself. Now, I've had different bags of funk, but this isn't, this hasn't been one of them. You know, I don't know. What do you? This concludes my segment for Cougar's Closet and uh, how I deal with uh, post and subliminal posts. So if you like my uh, thing, please like, please share, please subscribe. Mwah. Cougar's Closet. And y'all have to step so far over here to cut myself off. <laughs>